Hello and welcome back to Blitz the League 2. In the last episode, uh, Dante Robinson stuck it to the commissioner and decided to join the Montreal Wanderers in Division 3. We just won our first game. It was a come-from-behind victory, too. We were down 21-7 to at one point. But now we are heading into our second game. It's our first home game of the season. Hopefully we look to improve uh, on defense, because I don't think we did a really good job. As for league leaders, we're currently leading the division in touchdowns, passes, and yards. In terms of receiving, Ricky Johnson also is leading the league, because he had, he was connected on two big touchdown plays. As for running, we don't really have much to say in terms of running the football. Uh, Pablo Sanchez is really our only option. As for everything else, I mean, tackles... Okay, but everything else, we're looking good. So let's get ready right now to play the Baltimore Bearcats. We won our first bet. We're favored by eight now this game. Okay, let's just max bet. Let's go. Uh, we have a one on record, and so did the Bearcats. So let's go. All right, listen up. Let's focus on the task at hand, the Baltimore Bearcats. The best player they got is running back Quasi Umbutabe. He's a warrior and the spearhead of the Bearcat offense. There's only one man to fear, so defend the speared attack by aiming for him. Quasi's taken a lot of pounding, but he's still as sharp and lethal as ever. Forms. You know what? Not bad uniforms. I like it. I was kind of worried how they'd look. <laughs> I know we kind of look like Captain America out there, but... Oh, my God! And to start it out with a fumble on the first play, and Ronnie Dobbs will take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wanderers! They see the fumble return for six the other way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're off to a fast start today. Dubois kicks us off now. Hopefully the uh, Baltimore Bearcats can hold it on to it in the coverage. And McAdoo. Oh my god. Already taken guys out of the game. Ruptured spleen. He's out for seven games. That might be the whole season. His season might be over. First down, 30 yards to go. Ball up you know what? I like this line. look. Oh my god. Is that McAdoo again? Jeez, it's McAdoo's time to shine. That strong safety position's insane. That's a that's another tackle by McAdoo. What, what is going on? Looking back to throw his rigs. Riggs. Hits Umbutabe, gets away from one tackler, and gets forward for a couple more yards before finally being brought down by Ronnie Dobbs. So right now. And now they're gonna look to punt it away. Last game, I, I don't know what the brawlers were doing punting the ball away when they were down by three with a minute to go. I think Really bad punt. Ooh, jeez, and Ernie Steele gets clobbered. Damn. Robinson looking back to throw here. Ooh, beautiful! I don't know how Arthur Chen caught that. That's insane. How did Arthur Chen catch that? Robinson looking back to throw. Throws and finds Ricky Johnson up the sideline, tiptoeing his way through and diving into the end zone. Touchdown, Montreal. Oh my God. So two incredible catches, one by Chen, one by Ricky Johnson, and that that's gonna put the Wanderers up two scores. And the extra point is good. Ooh. 
Jeez. Injured the rival's team captain. <laughs> So Dante Robinson takes Quasi Umbutabe down. And that'll end the first quarter. That'll be the last play. The defense will be coming here on third and long. And, that's the and we're going to change sides as it's 14 nothing Montreal in two very, very good uh, possessions. I mean, thank goodness for the coverage unit, the special teams unit getting that fumble, and then Ricky Johnson just oh and he missed the tackle and it's a fumble and it was picked up by Hicks the running back and Quasi Mbutambe is back in so first and goal it's gut check time 149 to go pitch back it's McAdoo who's going to make the stop so he's too good for that McAdoo compiling up the tackles. Ace Patterson comes in, makes the stop. Third down goal to go, and Baltimore was marching down the field earlier. You can see they go to the fullback, and he'll be brought down by Ronnie Dobbs. So. They're going to go for it here. I anticipated they were going to go for it. The Bearcats need to do something offensively here. Back to throw his rigs. And it's going to be caught over the head of Khan, and it's going to be into the end zone for a touchdown. Pitch back here. Oh, and it was almost caught. That would have been a beautiful trick play. That would have been a good trick play. Second and 30 now. Looking back to throw. Looking for the big play. And it's caught by Pablo Sanchez off to the races and into the end zone for a touchdown. They don't cover the middle of the field there. And yeah, what do you think was going to happen? Let's hope that. Uh, Let's hope the Bearcats have something figured out here. And he's off to the races. It's Umbutabe. They will never catch him. Oh, man. Really? <laughs> oh, and he clotheslines me. Okay, at least we'll get the ball back again. Short kickoff. And it's Abrams. Abrams. And the big guy won't go down. <laughs> that was actually a really good run. Into Baltimore territory, down to the 41. So right now they got a shot as they hand off to Sanchez. Sanchez making a move. And with 19 seconds, they call a timeout. This would be a great place to build the condo. The view. Let's see what they got here. Robinson looking back to throw now. And oh, nice. Gets it inside and they got to run to the line quickly. Six, five, four, and three seconds left. They don't get it. Poor clock management there. And they will have to settle for the field goal by Marquis Dubois to go up by 10. He's one for one on the season. And make it two for two. So not a bad first half. I, I, I wish we could have done better. Umbutabe had ran the ball well. He did get that nice screen pass. Ooh, geez, almost deked past him. Looking back to throw is Robinson. Robinson gets... 
jeez. And they, no one's taken down Pablo Sanchez. Pitch back to Pablo. Pablo off to the races. He's dancing down the sideline into the end zone. Touchdown. And Pablo, he's getting himself some good carries. Now that was an impressive run. I wish and it's going to be intercepted. It's going to be Ahmed Khan. Ahmed Khan coming in and making the play. Intercepting Riggs. Beautiful, beautiful. Does he have the arm strength? Throws it to Chen, who's into the end zone. Touchdown. And it's Ace Patterson that makes the interception. Two on back-to-back -back possessions now. Looking back to throw now. Throw a block, somebody. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got here. 34 seconds. Robinson hands it off to San. Finds a little room around the corner. 17-yard pickup there for Sanchez. Third down, 13 to go. Throwing. And it's going to be caught by Ricky Johnson. The ball wasn't even intended for him. And he's off to the races. Touchdown. Unbelievable. So Ricky Johnson. Looking back to throw. What do they got? Ooh, over the middle, and it's Ronnie. Was it Ronnie Dobbs that made the hit there? Fourth quarter is 45 14. Oh, and Powell makes the catch, and it's a touchdown for the Bearcats. What? <laughs> I love the celebrations in this game. Uh, I have a hunch they're going. For, yep, they're going for it. 45 20. Oh, and he makes a man miss, and he's got the two point conversion. So, Baltimore still wanting to fight in this game as Garcia gets the ball and will be down at the 40. Looking back to throw here. Throws it up. It's Ernie Steele that makes the catch, and he's got it into the end zone for a touchdown. I think I hit every single one of my receivers in this game. I think we were sharing we're sharing the wealth this game. As Montreal takes a 52 to 22 lead and This is looking good so far as Oh and And it's a fumble and it's picked up by Montreal and Series of downs upcoming. Fourth quarter, it's first and goal. Goes way down Caught field. by Ernie Steele. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. oh my God. This game could not go any better for these guys. And oh my God, he's gonna, ooh. 
Um, is every Umbatabe skull fracture out for eight games? Yeah, could I get the card stat? I don't know what to say. That's that's how you call ball game. What's happening here? Oh God. Finally brought down, and who was that? Oh, it was Joey McAdoo. Broken foot. Oh no. I don't want to hurt you. You gotta stay still. Oh, that doesn't look good. 71% accuracy, okay. Come on over. Uh that didn't look good. Trying to run the ball and just... Touchdown, Baltimore. And... Come on. And that's going to be a failed two-point conversion attempt, so... Oh God. Hey, he held on to it. Thirteen seconds to go. Robinson gonna take the snap, looking deep to throw. Hauled in Ricky Johnson. And I don't know what else to say. Why did why did we have to do that? Why did we have to drop a sixty burger on him? Ooh, and it was incomplete. It was almost proving your worth. Got a ton of sponsorships. Seven touchdown tosses from this guy. Sanchez led in the rushing attack, and Ricky Johnson led again in the receiving with 149 receiving yards. Dante Robinson. We didn't turn the ball over once. We owned the game. Let's see what we got. Oh, my God. Racking up the money. Okay, we made good money. Unlock the uh, crunch pads, proving our worth. Oh, we got a cutscene. Okay. Have a seat. Just have a seat. What's this about? You're gonna go play with that new hotshot franchise. Why the fuck would I want to play there? His team's in the division. Oh, play. I thought you didn't want to play there because it's. To know that the it's Quebec, but okay. <laughs> along with that big contract of yours. That's why they traded up to draft Max Carson. Nothing wrong with Quebec. It's... Oh, man, fuck them. You might get picked up by another team for a fraction of your current salary. Or you can go play with franchise and keep your deal as is. Just tell me one thing. What's in it for you? Oh, he's going to screw over our chances. Come on. Kim. Wow, what a performance. Real Iron Man football. That's hot. You and I need to get together this evening and discuss our options. You'll find me a flexible negotiator. Okay. Mm. Dolly, <laughs> you dressed to kill. Have time to talk a little business? Whatever you like, beautiful. We have the opportunity to land the biggest sporting goods company in North America. And you need me to do a little meet and greet. Their reps will be at the game this Sunday. 
I need you to give me a top-notch performance. That's the only kind I ever give. Get it done on the field, Hotshot, and perhaps we can celebrate afterwards. Hitting the sack. <laughs> Franchise must get at least one sack next game. Three-time defensive MVP, Quentin Sands, to the Montreal Wanderers. So we got a new player in town. His name is Quentin Sands. He's on the defensive side of the ball, so let's just pull it up here for a second. Yep, Quentin Sands. He's a B overall. Uh, pretty good player. I mean, it is an improvement for our defense. As for um, our training, I'll assign training, and then we'll get to the game. Look at the stats real quick. We are by far and away the best quarterback in the league right now. Receiving-wise, man, Ricky Johnson still leading in receiving. Pablo Sanchez is getting it done okay. He's, done, he's doing okay on the ground. As for everything else, uh, Barnes is our leading tackler. Okay. But as for league standings, we are the only on oh that and the steamers. So we're we're holding on strong. We're doing well. We play the devil. We play the riders who are one and one, coming off a big shootout victory over the brawlers. So and as for power rankings, yeah, we still need room for improvement. Um, let's buy some facility upgrades. Actually, now that we got the money for it, let's uh hundred thousand dollars for a tire which I'm pretty sure you could find in, like, some landfill outside of Montreal, but okay. Uh, let's get moisturizer on the hands. Uh, let's let's work on the tackling uh, in terms of speed, ankle weights, and should we get the strength? I don't know if we should get the tire course. Let's work on our strength. So we got $100,000 left to burn, so we can spend that on our next game against the Houston Riders. Let's go and jump into it. We need to win three more games to lock up a spot in the Division Three Championship. So, and we're 2-0. Oh, we're doing okay. But, man, we're, we have to win the game by 23 or more. We have a heck of an offense, though. I will say that. The Houston Riders have been the Division Three punching bag since they joined the league three years ago. <laughs> That might be changing this year since they drafted running back Donnell Sullivan in the first round. The guy's got an effective one-two punch, his wicked burst of speed followed by his stiff arm jab. And he ain't afraid to hit below the belt. So if we want to shut down Houston, we need to knock out Sullivan. Okay, let's bring it. Donnell Sullivan, a heralded rookie, is slashing. Is a slashing and shifty running back who can also catch passes out of the backfield. Okay. Well, we since we just ended somebody's career in Quasi Umbutabe, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Hitting this. Oh yeah, we do have a get a sack to Houston and Montreal. Let's go. Bring it on. As that one is not even going to be returned, as that one's going to go out of bounds and it'll be placed on the Montreal 40. First down and 30. So let's see how Dante Robinson handles himself out there. As he stiff arms a man and he's going to run down the sideline. In an unbelievable move, he's going to roll and get a couple yards out of it, 31 to be exact. Don't count Robinson out. Looking. Nice run there. It's going to be... Oh, God. And Sanchez. Just a bruise. <laughs> and Sanchez gets hurt on the first play, on his first touch of the ball. Hold on, man. I got him. Yeah, just, just a minute. Hold on, man. I got him. Yeah, just, just a minute. Lost two stamina out of that. Hold still. Ugh, I hate needles too, but Damn, man, I just blew up on you like an IED. Kaboom. The offense has a Okay, let's see what we got. Here's our backup run. Oh god, Reese, you couldn't catch that? Did you get a 
chance, coach. Reese Worthington couldn't catch the screen pass and it falls incomplete. Robinson looking back to throw again. Does he have the speed to beat these guys? Oh, and he doesn't. Just gets tugged down by his shoelaces. Fourth down. We're, at, we're in the... Fourth and goal, ball on the five. They're not trusting Markey. Please, fumble, picked up, and it's going to, oh, and what a disaster this drive was. Couldn't do anything right there as we fumble it inside the five. Donnell Sullivan will take it. And he's going to get away from all of that. And a 94-yard touchdown run. And Patterson chasing. He'll never get him. Touchdown, Riders. So the Houston defense makes a stand. And Montreal unable to wrap up Donnell Sullivan. I thought it was going to work. <laughs> Bad bounce. And Garcia. Oh, God. Not looking good injury-wise is now Jorge Garcia comes up with an injury on the kickoff. Pinch nerve. Hurt. Hold him still. Hang on, buddy. You'll be all right. I'm terrible at these. Three plays. So we're not going to have our our uh, tight end. But we are going to get Pablo Sanchez back in the game, which we, prob uh, we probably would have gotten some. Ooh, down the middle. Sanchez coming back. Makes the 19-yard catch. Looking back to throw again. Looking. Oh, nobody's in front of him. Nope. Oh, God. So already, third injury right now of the game, and it's Dante Robinson. Ooh, that was not a good one. Ooh, I got to get better at those. So we're going to have Chuck Downfield in the game for this drive, down by seven. Let's see how this looks. Chuck looking, looking, and he'll be hit and brought down, and it'll be fourth down. That wasn't looking good there, and now fourth down, first quarter, pitch out to Sanchez. Sanchez will be stopped, just shy, oh. So it, it really isn't looking good now for Montreal. And it's stiff arm is too good. And oh, and Ace Patterson had to come flying in and make the stop. Over 100 yards in this first quarter. They couldn't do much. And McAdoo there to make the stop. And now that'll bring up. Now a first and goal situation. And 100 and, oh my God, 100 now in 26 yards for, for their guy. And and it's fumble at the goal line, picked up by McAdoo. They've been hitting Sanchez a couple of times. Still in a 7-0 ball game. Looking, finds his man, it's Arthur Chen. Beautiful job, and it's Arthur Chen to the end zone touchdown. And it's going to be intercepted. It's Ahmed Khan. And Ahmed 
jumps the route and the makes a beautiful interception. Third. Robinson looking back to throw now. Throws it deep. This one's to Ricky Johnson. Touchdown, Wanderers. He got both feet down. I was kind of worried there for a second. I didn't know if he was going to come down with it. And Ricky Johnson continues his great run of form recently as Montreal now finds themselves in a seven-point lead all of a sudden. Big time hit from Dante Robinson. Ooh, Quentin Sands makes the hit and that won't do much as the Riders will call timeout as they get inside the Wanderers 20 to the 15. And it's gonna be intercepted Joey McAdoo. A beautiful interception. Turnovers mean the defense is on the field in an inordinate amount of time, and they got to be fatigued. 23 this seconds. Can Robinson do something now with the ball? And they're going to, Riders are going to call a timeout. I don't know why you'd do that. You're giving us extra time. Robinson looking back to throw, throws it. Caught up into the air, and it's going to be. It's going to be caught by Pablo Sanchez off the deflection. Can they get inside the field goal range now? Looking back to throw. Caught by Ricky Johnson through the coverage. Six seconds left. Five. Touchdown. And it's, 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 it's Ricky Johnson. I don't know. Ricky Johnson might, be in, might end up being MVP. Who knows? as it's now 20 to seven. With four seconds left. And the extra point is good. Riders have already thrown two interceptions. And that was the big guy, the defensive tackle coming in and making a stop. And it's going to be deflected and intercepted. Ahmed Khan has got his second pick of the ball game. Why is this always happening? Robinson looking back to throw again. He's got... And he makes two guys miss, and he's going to be on his way to the end zone. Clicks his heels. Touchdown, Wanderers. Dobbs, Taylor, McAdoo running. Can he catch him? No, he cannot. Touchdown, Houston. Okay. Ooh, and he doesn't get it off. Every snap. Looking back to throw. Oh, God. Can you hold on to that, Sanchez? I doubt he will. You know what? I don't care. He held on to it. Pablo Sanchez. Ugh, 73, fine. No stamina lost. He's been taking a beating today. First down, 30 yards to go. Looking back to throw. Can he find another guy? Oh, and he gets hit. This is just too easy for the defense. It seems like they can blitz at will on this offensive line. The line does not block. As Robinson will roll out of the pocket. Ooh, 75 yards rushing in the game. And third and goal looking. Hits Worthington into the end zone, touchdown. Oh, he didn't make it. It's fourth down and short and 
big fourth down coming up. I can't believe they didn't score that. Can they get it? Houston, and they got the fump. They get the fumble, but oh my god, that would have been a beautiful play. Sands got the hit on him, and it didn't go through all the way. Press makes the catch, and now Houston trying to stay stay alive, kind of in this game. And it's going to be intercepted, Joey McAdoo. What? Okay, what else we got? They're going for it. They've had the ball for most of this. And it's caught by, picked up by Quentin Sands. Is this what we're doing? Touchdown, okay. Quentin Sands gets a defensive touchdown. <laughs> uh, Patterson, you're our last hope. And finally getting brought down. Jeez. This was uh, one of the uglier games we've played. I th we got four picks off of them. We only fumbled once, and that was, that was our backup running back. But, jeez, we only rushed for 97 yards, 343 passing yards through the – and five touchdowns through the air. We got the sixth one. That was a – that was a – that was a brutal game. 42-15 is your final. Okay, making good money. Did we get anything out of it? I don't even think we... Or maybe we just won. I can't show this cutscene because I'll be age-restricted, and I don't like my videos being age-restricted. Actually, none of my videos have been age-restricted now that I think about it. We hooked up with Kim! Yay! <laughs> That's it? Okay! Uh, let's take a quick look at the league leaders and the stats. After just three games, we're we're 200 yards more than. Oh man, we could actually, could we contend for for the uh, all-time passing leader Shane Spain? Could we beat her? I don't know, but we certainly have the most. Nobody even has 10, 10 passing touchdowns yet. As for receiving, yeah, Ricky Johnson still leads. I don't. He's not going to beat Tito Moss's record. Quasi Mbutabe's record of 1,600 yards. No one's beating that. Interceptions. Ahmed Khan is already... He had two last game. Look at that. He's already second in the league. And no, we're not in sacks, and we're not getting tackles. But you know what? That was uh, league standings. Only undefeated team left. Um, in terms of power rankings, we're second in, division, in the division in terms of our quarterback rating. We're a B+. Plus. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Wow, this was a fun part. Um, but in the next part, we got to play the Milwaukee Hounds, who are big Division Three title contenders. But overall, it's been a fun series so far. I can't wait for the next games. That'll do it for this part. Thank you for watching, and I will see you when we take on the Milwaukee Hounds in Montreal. See you then.